Each year, about 150,000 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with colon cancer. Each day, about 25 million Americans take a statin medication to lower their cholesterol and reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease. What's the connection? Scientists at the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center are at the forefront of research into the use of statin medications to prevent colorectal cancer. Back in 2005, we asked the question of whether or not statins might be associated with a reduced risk of cancer in addition to their well-known benefits for cardiovascular disease. And we were surprised to learn that, in fact, they were associated with a reduced risk of colon cancer. And that reduction in risk was quite profound. It was actually a nearly 50% reduction in the risk of colon cancer in our study of approximately 4,000 individuals. As a national leader in colon cancer research, University of Michigan scientists then asked the question, do statins work equally well among all patients at reducing their risk of colon cancer? And how can physicians know who might most benefit from these drugs? Their findings were recently published in the prestigious Journal of Cancer Prevention Research. We were surprised to learn that statins don't work equally well in all people. And in trying to understand whether or not there might be a genetic test which predicts which people benefit the most specifically with respect to reducing the risk of colorectal cancer from these drugs, we found that it is in fact the same gene that is involved in the synthesis of cholesterol. We found that there are actually two different versions of that gene. And those two different versions are easily distinguished on the basis of a gene test. I think our research is really the first step towards personalized prevention. We think we understand the reasons why statins lower the risk of colorectal cancer. In fact, it's probably related to the fact that in addition to lowering cholesterol, they also decrease inflammation. And we know that inflammation is a very important part of the way in which colon cancers develop. But regardless of whether or not it's related to cholesterol levels itself or inflammation, what's more important to know is who are the right people to use these drugs for. More study is needed to determine if and when statins may be used to lower the risk of colon cancer and what genetic testing may be helpful. However, current tried-and-true prevention strategies, including screening and colonoscopy, do help save lives.